From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook True Tales of Haunted Places by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. The University of Hawaii has offered a scholarship to a quarterback who is 11 years old and in fifth grade. Titan Lacedon, quarterback for the Hawaii All Black Crusaders, has announced via his Twitter account that he has received a scholarship offer to play for the Warriors. But he can't play in any night games. He does have a 10 p.m. curfew. Police in Florida are reminding folks to check any backyard pools they plan on diving into. They made that statement after pulling an eight-foot-long alligator from the bottom of a family's swimming pool in Venice, Florida. On the plus side, no one was hurt and the number of calls to 911 complaining about neighbor kids climbing people's fences to swim in their pools has decreased dramatically. A fisherman has discovered the world's first two-headed porpoise. Its name? Well, they called him Flipper, Flipper. Seven young women from Spain have contacted police saying they were recorded by a drone recently while sunning themselves on the deck of a boat in Mallorca. If you're more than a mile out, though, I mean, isn't that considered international waters? A report says that 10 million Americans have serious mental illness. Yeah, I'm surprised the number's that low, too. In case you missed the scorching temperatures outside, summer is officially here. So, when Hannah Puey and her sister uh, went to Woodland Mall in Grand Rapids, Michigan on Saturday, she dressed for the 90-degree weather, meaning shorts and a Nemo tank top reading Just Keep Swimming with a picture from Pixar's Finding Nemo on the front. But partway through their shopping trip, mall security told her that she had to leave for wearing an inappropriate outfit. Allegedly, somebody complained. The Woodland Mall later apologized to Pewey and said they're going to revise their clothing policy on their website so it is clearer what is and isn't acceptable. Yeah, I mean, give the girl a break, too. I mean, she already has to go through life with the last name of Pewey. Dennis Rodman's trip to North Korea is being sponsored by something called Potcoin, a digital marijuana currency. Of course, this whole trip would have to be marijuana related. After spending a decade as the most interesting man in the world for Das Ekis, actor Jonathan Goldsmith is now the spokesperson for Astral Tequila. Apparently being fired by Das Ekis drove him to the hard stuff. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi believes President Trump will self-impeach and that Democrats should wait for the Russian investigation to play out before pushing to remove him from the Oval Office. Self-impeach? So what, he'll cut his own head off so Kathy Griffin won't have the chance to? Here is some neck-deep irony. In Kansas City, 71-year-old Lawrence John Ripple told a judge he robbed a bank because of depression and that he wanted to get away from his wife. Well, last September, Ripple went to the Bank of Labor, a block from police headquarters, and handed the teller a note saying he had a gun and demanded money. Well, after he was given the money, he sat down and waited for police. A federal judge gave him just what he didn't want – six months of home confinement with his wife and 50 hours of community service. Court records indicate Ripple wrote the robbery note in front of his wife and told her that he would rather be in jail than at home. Oops. Sounds like he got the perfect punishment, though. Khloe Kardashian says her boyfriend Tristan Thompson wants to have five or six kids with her. And thank goodness, because I'm sure we were all concerned that the Kardashian family line might come to an end. That Oliver Stone interview series with Vladimir Putin is being criticized as too much of a love letter to the Russian leader, especially the part where the two of them recreate their favorite scenes from La La Land. Falling for a phishing scam is pretty dumb, but it is epic when you are the CEO of a major bank. Meet Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein and Citigroup's CEO Michael Corbett. The unsuspecting chief executives, along with Citigroup consumer banking chief Stephen Byrd, responded to emails sent by a prankster posing as bank executives over the weekend, according to both Goldman and Citigroup, though none revealed any sensitive information. 
In fact, it seems the goal of the scheme was simply to embarrass the bankers rather than steal information. In that case, mission accomplished. McDonald's says it'll be hiring 250,000 workers this summer, some to wait on tables. McDonald's waiters and waitresses. Unless they're stopping by to see if I would like a free refill on my french fries, I, I don't see the need here. What, and do they expect to be tipped? Like, what if you're ordering off the dollar menu? That's like a 20-cent tip. That's not worth bussing a table for. Stephen King says that President Trump has blocked him on Twitter. I don't blame him. You don't need a horror writer stalking you online. Washington, D.C. is horrifying enough on its own. Caitlyn Jenner says she would really like to play a round of golf with Donald Trump. Huh? D does uh, Caitlyn use women's clubs? Is she barred from entering the men-only comfy lounge at the golf club? I'm, I'm just wondering. As artificial intelligence continues to develop, we're going to see machines do more and more things humans can do, like fly jetliners and beat Miss Pac-Man. Yep, Microsoft's AI computer recently beat the game and scored a million points. It is good to know artificial intelligence is being used for really important stuff. Never miss a single episode of the Daily Dose of Weird News. Download the free Marlar House mobile app. In the app, you can find links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Watch other Marlar House YouTube videos. Sign up for the Marlar Sheet newsletter to automatically be registered for giveaways. Purchase Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirts or mugs. Download audiobooks I've narrated. See my latest blog posts and more. The Marlar House mobile app is free for iOS and Android users. Download it now by clicking the Mobile App tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com or search for Marlar House in your phone app store. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!